Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more In this video we continue our journey to learn how to use Synthmaster 2. Um, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, as that will help to grow the channel and bring more tutorials, videos and giveaways. So let's kick off. Um, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm in standalone mode as that gives you me, uh, well, it gives me more space on the screen to um, show you better uh, what I'm doing. So let's initialize the preset. And today we are going to explore how to apply uh, multi segments as uh, modulation sources. So I have initialized uh, uh, the preset. So I have a sawtooth. Why not? Let's make it a sine wave like so. Now we need to apply the modulation, otherwise we can't hear it. So let's add modulation and then let's go to envelopes and let's select multi-segment envelope number one. As you can see, there are four. Here is where you see the selection. You click and hold and you have access to um, four of them. The first one, you can see there is one target because I applied that uh, modulation to the pitch over here, which of course you can see also in the modulation metrics under here. Okay, first thing to notice is that uh, multi-segments have also a plus icon or a zoom icon here, so you can zoom in, which is quite nice. You cannot zoom in for a DSR, as you cannot do zoom in for LFO or Keyscaler, but you can zoom in for sequencer, like so. So sequencer and uh, multi-segment, you can zoom in, which is quite nice. So let's zoom in. So let's uh, play on the keyboard. Okay, first thing you noticed is that it is going through the envelope which has been created here uh, by default through the, the point that you can see here. And it stops on this point here, which is point number three. So this is point number one, two, and three. And you can see the points because they are highlighted with a square. Okay, and, and that's because if you look underneath here, it says loop start at um, point number three and loops end at point number three. So if I was to change the loop start to two, you will see that um, you see these highlighted area on these areas become a different color. So if I press a note on the key, keyboard, is moving very, very quickly between point two and point three. Now, it's moving as a, um, a loop in an infinite way because this is where it's set how many times it needs to loop through. So in INF for infinite, but of course you can set this to off and you can set the number of times you want to um, to loop through up to 32 or infinite mode. Okay, so the other thing to notice is, is that here it says free under envelope stages. So that is one stage, this is the second one, and this is the third one, okay? You can click and add additional point if you like so. Okay, and um, and you can see it, it has created an additional stage now. It says that you have uh, four addition, four stages. Now you can decide um, um, a, how much of the in envelope you would like to apply as a modulation. Okay, so okay, you can hear that I reduced the amount that the envelope is applying as a modulation in this particular case to the pitch. And you can also decide to introduce a lag, as you can see here, which makes it more interesting. So add in a lag as the word says. Now, as you can see, it moves very, very quickly because if you see horizontally, this is the number of second. But of course, you can pick up one point and move it to the right, okay? And therefore, you change how quickly it moves through time. Additionally, you can do a sync to the bits per minute. And again, that you can see it will go by bits here. And therefore, it is quite different in terms of duration. Okay, the other thing you can do when you're in sync mode, you can say snap, so you can snap and then you can select one uh, uh, division, so one eighth, and you can see the grid has changed. That means that you can now move of that uh, 
quantity of the division as you sent in the snap uh, selection. Okay, it comes really handy. So you can say one fourth, like so. Okay, that of course does not apply if you're not in sync mode. Okay, and it only applies horizontally when you are in sync mode, not vertically, as you can see. The other thing as well, when you are in sync mode, you cannot apply the the enveloped lag. But if you remove that, and you can of course apply the lag when you're not in sync mode. You have a um, trigger, so you can trigger that, uh, um, you know, by uh, mono or poly or random. It works exactly as the ADSR in the previous uh, video, as I explained there. So please reference that video. And, um, and additionally, you can also set it to work as bipolar. So in this case, um, in the middle is roughly where you hear it stop actually to to make a sound as it becomes negative. So let's try. Now let me show you also uh, looping free in this case. So so you can see that uh, the sound uh, goes to zero particularly because it's bipolar. And um, also you can see that it has looped three times including the first time will make it four. So it goes through once and then it loops three times as you said here. And then of course, so when it finished looping, it moves uh, forward. And of course you can hear the difference when uh, bipolar is not on. Okay. Right, so, and that is uh, all you need to know uh, for now for a multi-segment. So, as I said, there are more than one, up to four, and you can apply them as modulation sources to parameters as you wish inside the Synth Master 2. Okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time. Thank you, bye.